Hello, I'm Bobby Flores, and today I'm going to show you how to install a hidden VCR behind your wall-mounted smart TV. So the inspiration behind this project was that we really wanted to be able to enjoy the Disney classics that we grew up with and share those with our kids, but we didn't have the money to go out and buy DVD, Blu-ray, 4K versions that are out now. So we started going to thrift stores and garage sales and buying up the VHS versions of all our favorite movies. We ended up with an awesome collection, but we love having a really clean look for our TV set up in the living room, which also helps us keep it out of the hands of the little ones. We already had our TV mounted up on the wall with no wires exposed and I wanted a way that we could connect our VHS player to the TV without having anything exposed. So here's the plan. We've got our VCR, it's kind of a rectangular size. Here's you put the video in, we're going to put it in sideways because in the wall we have, you know, the studs. The studs don't have enough room to put it laying down. This obviously not to scale, um, but we're going to embed it into the wall sideways and then the TV is here covering it up whenever it's against the wall. So what I'm going to do is build a box that the VCR can fit into. That and that will go through the wall. So we're going to make this top part here the width of the wall. That way we have a box within the wall. And then I have the bottom portion extending a little bit so that when we stick the VCR in, the back of the VCR will come out over here. And then I'll probably add a, a little extra space here on the top so we can run the wires through back to the front because this will be the front of the wall. So eventually we'll have the VCR in there. It's little play buttons. And it'll be sitting out flush against the wall that way you won't see it. That's the plan. Alright, so now we have the pieces cut. These are just kind of placed together, but this is kind of the idea. If you couldn't tell what I was talking about earlier, this is just sitting together right now. But we'll have the back kind of extending a little bit to hold some weight. This should be about the width of the wall once we stick it in there. So the front will be flush with the wall. The front of the VCR will be sticking out a little bit. So in the back, I just gave this a little angle, just just because. Make it a little more interesting. That side's going to be flat. Might flip it around one way or the other. So yeah, now I'm going to nail and glue it. And then we'll cut the hole in the wall and stick it in there. And I left a little gap up here. Uh, so I'm not sure how we're going to run the wiring yet. Here's the plan. I'm gonna put this, cut a hole in the wall, stick this inside, and it'll go in. That way we can put our VCR in and it'll be completely behind the TV. So that's the plan. Make sure you're getting a level line on these on both sides. Mark out the edges to where you want to cut it. Make sure that it's covered. These drywall saws work really good. But I like to cut that last edge with a uh, utility blade. It's a little easier, a little quicker. Not as messy. Here I put the mounting box 
in the hole, traced the inner edge, and then poked holes in the corners where I traced it. Then I took the box into the closet, which is what's on the other side of the wall, lined up those holes on the inside of the box, and traced around the outer edge. And those are the lines that I used to cut. So here it is, the finished product. No visible wires, plugs, any of that stuff. Just flip it open, hit play. That's it for this project. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions about this project or ideas for videos you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified when a new video comes out. I didn't have to buy anything to do this project. I just used materials that I had lying around the house, but check the description below for links to products and tools that I do use. Those links will take you to Amazon and anything you purchase through that will help support this channel through a commission.